tired of people making a hundred dollars two hundred dollars or one hundred dollars every single day using binance futures trading now let me tell you something people are there uh, who are turning ten dollars into one hundred dollars people are turning uh, one hundred dollars into a thousand dollars every single day uh, and in a period of time sometimes in one week sometimes in one month using a binance futures now the great thing is that with binance futures you can make profits whether the market is going up or the market is in downtrend so long as you can do your analysis well so ladies and gentlemen if you are the one who wanted to know how to do binance futures trading then in this video i'm going to show you step by step of how to do binance futures trading but before i show you how to do binance futures trading you should know that yes you can turn a hundred dollars into one thousand dollars on binance futures trading we but you should always remember this that let me show you this screenshot that i want you to really remember before you go for binance futures now you can see this screenshot is coming from market insiders now if you have trader or you have been so so much into trading uh, or if you are new you should know that market insiders is one of the blog that gives legit information or researches about trading now they did a research and they are showing that one study in brazil it showed brazilian futures traders this very trading that i'm going to be showing you that showed brazilian futures traders they found that 97 percent of day traders and 97 percent of the day traders lost money in 300 days 97 percent it means only three percent that made money then here another study that took place in taiwan i think that is thailand i don't know the place exactly but another study that took place showed that in 2006, uh, from 1995 to 2006, showed that only 5% of traders made money. So what does that mean? It means that you need to be so disciplined. You need to be very careful to make money with futures trading. Therefore, uh, I would advise that before you go for futures trading, at least make sure you are comfortable with spot trading so that you can know futures trading but anyway if you just want to know how futures trading works then let's continue with this video now you can see over here how to access futures trading you are going to click down here on futures when you're on binance this is the home page of binance you click down there on your futures if you don't have binance the first link in the description of this very video is going to give you bonuses if you open up an account with binance trading bonuses so click the first link in the description of this very video you open up your account and you are going to be getting bonuses now after opening up an account and you come to your home page like this you have to deposit money on your account if you don't know how to deposit money on binance of course you are going to check the link in the description there is a video that i made about depositing money on binance which is going to help you now you come and click down here on features now when i click on features it is going to open the interface of features now this is the interface of features now there are some i'm going to explain quick quickly about what these things mean uh there is this m let me start from up here now there's usdsm this is usds margin then there is this coin margin now i'm going to explain that quickly what usdm means that the base currency or what you are base you are trading with the base currency you are seeing here usd but the base currency what you are trading with is going to be either a stable coin any of the two more, most uh, common stable coins and uh, the most common stable coin that we use is this usdt that you see and busd those are stable coins so when you're going to trade and the base coin or the profit or loss is going to be counted in form of usdt or busdt that is called the usds margin but now the coin here the coin coin margin it means that there are a lot of different coins that you can use as the base currency or the base coin that you're going to be using so when you click on m coin you can see in case of this you see you btc usd now the base here is uh bitcoin so it means the profits or loss you're going to be uh, all shown in form of bitcoin or btc so i hope you have understood that then uh when you come to this very part that i've been showing you that is the trading pair that you want to trade now when you have come to trade you need to choose your trading pair now when you click on that when you click on that you are going to see different trading pairs so you can use this search button to search for your trading pair assuming i wanted to trade the binance coin the bnb i click on bnb and it is going to open like that or else if i wanted to trade doge coin i click on doge and it is going to open like that so but there are some few things i want to trade to explain to you 
I'm not going to trade on future or M on coin coin margin. I'm not going to trade on coin margin. I I like trading on USD, so I'm going to click on that usd so after clicking on that we are still explaining this and i'm going to click on that so i'm going uh, i said when I, you are looking for dodge you look for dodge you search dodge now you can see dodge over there you can see dodge perpetual you can see usdt perpetual so i want to explain that word of perpetual but let me explain by first searching for btc so that you see i understand what i'm explaining now when you look for when you search for a coin you are going to see that here it is showing btc usdt perpetual i think you can see down there that is showing perpetual and yet here you're seeing btc usdt quarterly now the two differences that these contracts here they expire this contract expire the quarterly contracts expire and you can see this here shows the date in which this one will expire so i don't like really uh trading those things that will expire i want something that is free there is this perpetual here so i just go for that perpetual uh, and then i click on perpetual i btc usd perpetual so in this case i want to trade and that is the bitcoin it is already open there i've explained the meaning of perpetual now when you want to see the graphs you're going to be clicking here to see your graph to do your fundamental analysis you click there and the graph will be able to open for you so uh, the graph is going to be able to open and you can see over the graph here is the graph you can see read do your fundamental analysis now if you are you want to do really know how to do fundamental analysis, uh, technical analysis and you you want to start trading i have a full video that i was talking about uh, the fundamentals of technical analysis or what you can use in technical analysis as a beginner you can watch the video in the description i'm going to be able to put it in the description now that is how you read the graph now here there is calculation very fast so uh, this is one of my favorite tools when it comes to features trading i love using the calculator so this calculator what does it show uh, this calculator here for example here you are seeing uh, you can calculate the profit or uh, profit and loss you can calculate the trigger price liquidity price uh, max open but let me just explain only uh, profit and loss be, uh, how to calculate profit and loss uh, others you you'll try them at your own free time now ladies and gentlemen you can see here there is long there is short now after doing a fundamental analysis your fundamental and technical analysis you find if you find that yes uh, the price is likely to go up you are predicting that price is going to go up then you go with long if you're predicting that the price is going to go down then you go with short so if you predict the price the movement of the price correctly in both sides you are making profits now here we are going to be looking at entry price so here in to calculate here you put in the entry price exit price and then the quantity of BR, btc that you are going to buy and everything will be sorted or everything will be or will be calculated for you now let's first come back and see let me come back and first see the price now uh here they are the idea here are the buys people are making the buys uh here here are the sales here up here is sell and then down here is buy but what you are seeing over here what you are seeing over here is the price of bitcoin at that particular time the price of bitcoin at this particular time is being shown here so for you can do your calculation uh your analysis after doing analysis if you feel that the price of bitcoin is really going up so you can see here it is being sold at 21 uh, 836 so it uh, 21 836 when you come to your calculator and you say when i enter tw uh, 21 836 then i come out here let me come to the calculator i say okay entry price i'm going to print 21 836 uh 21 836 then i want to exit at 21 800 and maybe 50 i want to exit at that price and then you, you are going to put the quantity that are uh, how the quantity you are going to put the you put the quantity in form of usdt so that you can easily calculate quantity maybe i'm going to use one thousand i want i'm going i want to use a thousand dollars and then if you use a thousand dollars remember if you are going to use a thousand dollars remember you have a leverage now here this one is leverage you can also put which leverage are you going to use for example i like using 20x but i'm going to explain leverage a, li a little bit later on so uh, when i click i click those three things i click on calculate when i click on calculate it's going to give me these results 
now this result up here it shows how much i need to perform that trade so for me to do this trade i only need 14 i only need my own money that i need to put in the account and tra trade with as collateral i only need 14 uh 49.13 usdt because i'm using leverage i'll be using leverage if you calculate that times this it should be able to give me a quantity of 100 usd that i want then profit and loss i only get 0.63 usdt as profit because i think the price here is so so near and i'm buying i'm buying something small i'm buying small and then you can see here that the return on investment will only be 1.28 percent so you can try this calculation with any this calculation you can try it for free and uh, you don't lose anything by trying out the calculation so you can try out the calculation before you do any any trade so when you come back here i've shown you that these are, are sell orders these are buy orders this is the current price now let's come here to the real 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 job now this order here you are seeing here cross now we have two things we have cross and isolated now when i click on the go down arrow you're going to see over here we have cross and then we have isolated what does it mean now if you have isolated it means that when you are going to be liquidated uh, your money your money that you had put as a collateral or that you had specified for that particular trade if they are to be liquidated you are going to just lose that money that you had placed for that particular trade but if you had put another money or, or if you had more money on your futures account and you have this cross activated you are using cross it means they can cross from the amount that you had placed or you had reserved for that particular trade if you are going to be liquidated more money can be got from your account from your uh, features account so that it can hold on the position until you deplete or until the all the money gets done so then that's when you can be liquidated and you lose all your money so that's why uh, for count for risk management i really love using the isolated for risk management but some people use cross because it also has its own advantage now this is leverage i told you you just click the go down arrow to choose which leverage you really want you just click the go down arrow and you'll be able to choose different leverages that you'll be using now here is buy now if you predict that the price is going to go down and you want to put a short or sell you just click on sell this side and you'll be able to change everything to red and you feel like things are going to go red but when you click on buy things will come back to green now this is the limit there are, there are a lot of orders that you can be doing this is the limit you can click on limit now when you click on limit you have uh, this limit then you have the market price cost only you have a stop limit but because of time i'm just going to talk about limit and i'm going to talk about the market price you can buy at exactly the market price and you you continue or you can buy at the limit so uh, i'm going to be make a trade right now so how am i going to make a trade before you make a trade you have to put money remember i have some small money here i have like 21 usdt you can see it over here on my futures but if you don't have money on futures you can be having money on other wallet let's say spot wallet so for example when i click on my wallet when i click on my wallet you can see that i have i have money in other wallets like i have uh 90 96 percent of my account is not in spot but if you are in spot if maybe your money is in spot and you want to transfer it to you want to transfer it like here in spot you just click on transfer to transfer it to futures when you click on transfer your money you are seeing here from spot wallet not to funding but remember we are trading what we are trading usd as margins so let's open it let's open it and see you are going to be transferring your money to this very section here so you click that section when you click that section then you click on usdt and then here you put the amount that you want to transfer then after everything is correct you just click on transfer here then your money will be uh, on your wallet so on features wallet that's how your money will come here and you'll be able to see your balance on your features wallet so after transferring money on your features wallet you are going to do a trade now it's time to do a trade now how are you going to do a trade you are going to first analyze your market you're going to first analyze your market now i told you that if you want uh, uh, how to you can begin uh, potential fundamental analysis and technical analysis i have a video that can explain that you can just go and watch that video 
and you'll be able to follow along but for now uh, let me say i want to use the market i want to buy at the market price so i'll click on market price and then uh, i say okay how much do i want to buy i want to buy uh, let me say i want to sell off i want to sell uh, it is the same thing selling to means you are predicting that the price is coming down let me say i want to sell off i want to buy it is only the same thing it depends on what you have analyzed the market for so for me if i analyze that i'm selling then i will click on sell then i'm going to click uh i'm by selling at the market price then i'm going to write the amount so example i want to write I want to write 100 now someone is saying i'm writing 100 but i only have 29 usd here now that is called the power of leverage now with the leverage remember i taken a leverage of 20x now that's why you are seeing that the only cost i need or what i'm risking for this particular trade is only for usdt i'm only risking for usdt so i can just click on short i've not analyzed this market i can just click on short and when i click on short it means um, for me to make profit prices have to go down if they go up i'll be uh, in loss so i'm um, and remember i've only risked what but with this cross you remember this is you, you should be avoiding cross if you go for cross it means your money more money that has has been here can be deducted in order to support that trade like you are seeing that here i had 29 now the, the four has been taken away to support that particular trade so uh, the four is supporting the trade now how do you see the trade if you had used the limit it was going to be under open orders here but this is the position you are going to click on position when you click on position now you can see over here that this is the position that we are in so we are holding this position and so far this is the profit and loss the only profit we have made so far is 0 0.08 uh 0 0.08 dollars then uh the size of usdt that we have used is there uh and then then we have the entry price we, we are trading bitcoin that is the price we entered in so the margin of our own money that we have used for this trade is only for usdt uh, this is how crazy uh, it can be so that is the market mark price and then uh, this is the percentage profit that we are in it will be reading there and then uh, now you can be liquidated by the way for this trade to be liquidated if bitcoin reaches this particular price i can be liquidated and all that money i lose all the four dollars so that is how you trade so trading this really depends on the more money the to make more money really depends on your strategy uh, it depends on the time you give it and also your capital is so important because your capital is going to make you not to go for higher leverages that are going to put you on high risk so ladies and gentlemen if you enjoy such content make sure you subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification button because i'm going to be posting more of such information to you otherwise thank you so much for watching see you in the next video